the world economy has not returned to its full potential, despite signs of recovery and stabilization. At the annual China Development Forum, experts from China and all over the world agree that challenges persist. But four fundamental challenges is that the need to lift the growth, not only to the higher level that the world needs, but also to the solid positions that all would be benefit from the growth. Almost a decade after the global financial crisis, the world's economic growth rate has yet to return to pre-crisis levels. This comes as there is opposition to free trade and globalization. Prime examples would be the Britons voted to leave the European Union, and across the Atlantic, Americans voted Donald Trump to the White House. Panelists are deeply worried that this backlash on globalization is going to hurt the world's fragile and uneven recovery. They say it is important to work together, but not shut out your partners and your opportunities. But the reality is that the solution is not to close markets, is to address what do we do about this uh, income distribution that is so skewed. Business executives, however, are confident about the outlook on free trade. I think innovations has, uh, you know, improved on productivity uh, almost two-thirds and, of course, has impacted some of the jobs, you know, creations. But what we need to focus on, technology and innovations come to bring higher-end jobs and higher paid jobs, which is part of the concern that the speakers have lifted. So finally, I think free trade is going to force itself and people will go back into reality that the free trade is beneficiary for everybody. Experts also pointed out that other issues are adding to the woes of global growth, notably the refugee crisis in the Middle East and political elections in Europe. With so many tasks at hand to fix the world economy, it is now time for those in power to choose the right tasks to start the journey. Ming Tian, CGTN, Beijing.